Okay, uh, now it's time to uh, lube up the, the prop shaft splines. I'm sorry, the uh, drive shaft splines. I'll have to reinstall the O-ring. You do not want to get it on top. You don't want any grease on the top. This, is, this can cause what they call a hydraulic lockup uh, inside the, the, uh, the engine. And if that happens, <laughs> sometimes it takes uh, days of hanging the engine upside down <laughs> with weight on it to try and pull it apart because it just sticks so badly. So you want to make sure that's very clean. That's a pretty big deal. So if you ever have to get it apart again, you, uh, you, definitely, you definitely want to stay clear of uh, putting it on top of that, that drive shaft. Okay, now I've got a new, uh, a new pump, new prop, propeller for the water pump. I think I'm going to use the new one. And uh, Again, this is RTB, and uh, just putting on a thin layer here if I can. Um, uh, just want to make sure this gets sealed up and the water goes where it needs to go. I don't want it squishing all over the place, but. Um, I am going to use the same base plate. It seems to be in pretty decent shape. Okay. Now I'm going to use some uh, lithium grease on the inside of the water pump housing just to coat this just to give it a film, just to get that to start off on, our, on the right foot because I don't, I don't want that hanging up inside. Again, just a thin layer, but that might be a little much. Uh, this is the new water pump impeller. I'm going to hold on to the old one. I won't throw that one away just in case there's some malfunction. I, uh, several years ago when I replaced mine on my 115 Mercury, I purchased it and uh, I put it together and the uh, brand new in it and, and the, the doggone uh, bushing inside here where it's keyed spun right inside it. And uh, boy, I'm glad I, I stopped my motor in time because that would have been a disaster. So I'm, I'm just going to hold on to the old one just in case something happens with this one. And you can see there's, I mean, this one's a new one, this one's the old one, and you can't, can hardly see that there's any wear on it, on the tips of the fins, a little bit there maybe, but uh, it ain't in bad shape. But I'm going to replace it just because, I mean, these do seem a little stronger maybe, but these aren't, this ain't bad. I'm going to hold on to it as a spare part, just in case. Um, I don't think it matters which orientation this goes on. So, okay, I gotta put the Woodruff key in. I gotta get that. Yeah. Put some grease on this. All right. A little dab of grease on the Woodruff key just to hold it in place while well, I'm getting it in place and that should that should keep it keep it in there now you line the key up with the uh, and that locks it in okay now you put this down on it this all looks pretty new I think all this was replaced at one time when this I mean this pump housing looks immaculate even the rubber looks good so I'm gonna leave that all in place I don't need to replace any the seal even looks good on the top so that's all staying I'm just going to replace it. Now, to get that in there, let me see if you're lined up properly. So, oh, really? 
Okay, so let's see. Hopefully you got all that. I, uh, I'm gonna reuse the housing. These grommets look good. The seal looks good. So in order to get this housing and this um, impeller to go into the housing, you have to rotate the shaft the same direction as if you were in forward gear. So it's a clockwise rotation. So you have to turn this as you're pushing it on. And sometimes that can be a bit of a challenge. So I'm turning the shaft and I'm pushing down on the housing. I probably shouldn't grease that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, let me think here. Not damaging the splines. Uh, maybe this will work better. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Sometimes it needs an attitude adjustment. Okay. These are the screws. Okay. Actually, three screws. I said this in an earlier video, there was four, but there's actually only three. And uh, I still have to learn how to count, I guess. So now the water pump is in, it spins freely. I don't feel any problems with the bearings. They feel pretty good, smooth. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Okay. That's all right, that's fine. Let's put a little more grease on this. I'll put some of this grease on. This is good stuff too. Just a little more. This just keeps it from corroding. The water gets on it. And it's stainless, but stainless can pit. It takes longer, but it can. Because of the quality of the stainless. I know because I work in metal finishing, so stainless is the best metal to use for this kind of application, but it takes the longest to start showing signs, but especially in salt water. Good, nice, greased up, ready to go in. Now, oh, wait, okay. okay, okay, since the last time you've seen my last video, I've actually put in a rack in the garage to hold these, these uh, monsters, <laughs> and uh, it worked out pretty good. So uh, I'm just gonna install it right here. This is kind of a nice place for me. Um, and you can see that the lower unit now will go in and now reassemble. So stay tuned. Okay. okay, so she's back up in place. I got a couple of bolts holding it loosely. Uh, just tighten these up.
That was frustrating. Okay, so that ends today's session. I've got the lower unit installed. Uh, just wanted to take a look at the uh, at the engine itself, make sure everything was hooked up. The cables to the uh, uh, to the forward and reverse gear, I connected those. I'm just going to put the cowling back on and probably paint her next year when it's the temperature is a little bit warmer. Uh, I'll clean it up and get it painted make it look uh, like new again. So uh, thanks for watching, stand by. Uh, I'll be working on this 50 uh, horsepower Johnson C Super Seahorse. That'll be the next project. That's called the Fat 50, by the way. And I can relate, because I'm over 50, and as you can see, I'm not skinny. So anyway, uh, that's the next project, and I hope you stand by and uh, stay with me. Uh, keep. Uh, Keep supporting me and uh, give me, subscribe and give me likes and hopefully you do. All right, well, you have a, a wonderful New Year's and uh, well, I'll talk to you later.